Open enrollment season for everyone to sign up for and make changes to health insurance, but for many seniors, there's some confusion on the differences between regular insurance and Medicare. All right, now many insurance companies are taking time to make sure people know which is with. This is important information for you, possibly your parents. David Romero is out live with all the details this morning. Good morning, David. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, everybody. You know, this is a critical time in the health insurance world. And of course, you know, this is a good time to remind everybody of what they need to do and to clear up some of the misconceptions or whatever's out there right now. We're joined by Marlene Baca from Loveless Health Plan this morning. She's going to help us clear up some of those misconceptions out there. Right now, what is the biggest misconception that somebody has, say a senior, about uh, Medicare versus regular health insurance? Sure. There is some confusion with Medicare beneficiaries, but they don't have to to worry about all of the talk around exchanges. Exchanges is really for people under the age of 65, but Medicare beneficiaries don't have to go on to the federal uh, online uh, support. Actually, they're able to use Medicare.gov, just as they've been doing for many years now. Uh, and Medicare beneficiaries at this moment are going through what is called an annual enrollment period, so they can look at their various options options of selecting a health insurance plan. Now there are two critical parts to Medicare. I mean there's the part A and part B and of course you know uh, I'm going to let you better speak to that about uh, what is the major differences between the two. Sure. Medicare part A is something that we've all worked for and that automatically is given to you when you become Medicare eligible and normally it's the age of 65 but that only covers hospital services and then part B is something that a Medicare beneficiary actually has to enroll in and that is a premium that is taken out of their Social Security check but in order to get a Medicare Advantage plan such as Loveless Medicare plan they do have to be eligible and enrolled in both parts but if a person would only have Medicare there's a lot of gaps so what Loveless Medicare plan does as well as other Medicare Advantage plans is that we kind of take away those gaps and we actually offer additional benefits. Great. And of course, this is a critical open enrollment time, and the deadline is December 7th? That is correct. December 7th. So if you are up for ch making changes to your health insurance, it's critical that you get it done within the time frame. And of course, you know, to maintain your health coverage is the biggest part of uh, keeping a healthy and, and uh, prosperous lifestyle. Back to you guys.